Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing Red Hood The Lost Days. But before I get into that, I'm going to say my feelings on Red Hood because he's a very controversial character. Some people don't think he should exist. Some people don't like the way he's been handled. Uh, some people hate every story he's been in. And some people just agree that Jason Todd should have stayed dead. I, on the other hand, I love Jason Todd. I love the Red Hood character. And I love it for the fact that he is the black sheep out of a family of black sheep. I think it's a really interesting dynamic in the Batman family. Because every other Robin has in some way deserved or in some way earned or wanted to be Robin. Jason Todd is pretty much the only one that, even if he wanted to be Robin, he didn't necessarily deserve it or earn it anyway. He was just at the right place, right time kind of thing where Bruce was getting over Dick becoming Nightwing and leaving him. He found Jason Todd and turned him into Robin. Then, of course, death in the family, all that stuff. But we're going to cut to Red Hood. So he comes back, and when he moment Red Hood came back, a lot of fans hated it for the simple fact they wanted Jason Todd to stay dead. Cause he's, he was one of the few characters that had stayed dead for a long time in comics. But they brought him back, and I really like that they did. And that's where uh, Red Hood and the Lost Days kind of picks up. Red Hood and the Lost Days is pretty much the training of Red Hood and how Jason Todd went from being the resurrected Jason Todd to Red Hood. It kind of shows uh, when he came back from the dead, basically, what he did, uh, Talia Al Ghul's involvement, and uh, how he was trained, which I think is really cool. Cause a lot of comic book characters, you don't ever really get to see how they were trained. That's what a lot of people uh, complain about because you never see how certain characters were trained, how they became so lethal or so devastatingly powerful. Red Hood, this entire book for the most part, uh, is just showing training and that's to an asset and kind of a down part for some people I know. Because some people all that have read it and I've talked to don't like it because they say it follows the formula of Red Hood gets trained, Red Hood doesn't like who's training him, Red Hood kills him, moves on to the next trainer. And in some regard, that's true, but at the same time, I like that flow just because it shows that uh, even though Red Hood will kill, he has crossed the line, he is still fighting for justice and for good. He's not necessarily a villain, and they go, they go through that a lot in this book of, well, do you want to kill Bruce? Do you want to kill Batman? Do you, do you want to kill Joker? Who are you after? Why are you back? What's your mission? And they do that a lot, and I think that's cool. Uh, overall, I do really enjoy this graphic novel. It's a really quick read. It's, uh, what, five or six issues. I can't remember how many. I should have looked at that before starting to review. But uh, anyway, it is a really fun book. It's a really quick book. It's And for those who like Red Hood, it, it uh, says a lot about his character, and you learn a lot about Red Hood, the Jason Todd Red Hood. You also get some cool, interesting dynamics going on between uh, Jason Todd and Talia al Ghul. Talia al Ghul and her father. Uh, seeing how Talia feels about Batman uh, through the eyes of another person. All of the really cool. Plus, a really cool cameo at the end from Hush. That's a little bit of a spoiler, but if you know anything about Red Hood, it's not that big of a spoiler. But I'm a huge Red Hood fan and a huge Hush fan, so for me, that was kind of a nerdgasm at the end of this book. Overall, I would definitely say if you're a fan of Red Hood or the Under the Red Hood story or even the Hush story because it does add a l just a little bit to that, I would say it's worth picking up. For me, I really like it. I would say it's an 8 out of 10 for me just because I really enjoy it. And it's not, it's not groundbreaking. It's not completely different or changing everything, but it does really uh, it adds a lot to... Uh, characters in the DCU that uh, no other book really has, like Red Hood. Uh, and also, uh, the art through most of it, I really enjoy. I know there are some different pencilers throughout it and some different colors, but but overall, I do really enjoy the art. And the overall story is good. And it, uh, like I keep saying, it does add a lot to the Red Hood character. If you don't like Red Hood, you're not going to like that. I think that goes without saying. But I've had a few people who have... Uh, for some reason or another, they don't like a character, and they've told me they didn't like the backstory of the character, they didn't like this character, 
And I can tell you right now, if you don't like the character, you're not going to like a book focused on that character. Sorry, I don't know why some people don't get that. But I like Red Hood. I like this book. I think it's done very well. I love uh, Judd Winnick's uh, writing style throughout this. And it's also just... There's some really good moments in this book if you're a fan of those characters. And I think that's the best way to sum this book up. If you're a fan of Red Hood, it's a good Red Hood story. If you're a fan of Hush or the Hush story arc, it does add to that. If you're a fan of the Under the, Under the Red Hood story arc, it adds to that. This book, that would also probably be, I would say, maybe some of the downside. If you haven't read Hush or haven't read Under the Red Hood, you will still get what's going on, but it won't be as much, it won't mean as much to you. Because for, I know most Batman fans have, but I know there's also a lot, especially with the New 52 and everything going on now, that haven't. So, I would suggest either reading this along with those, or reading those first, just so you really get what's all going on. Because then, those three go together in a really nice way for me, and I, I love all three of them. But yeah, uh, tell me what you think about Red Hood the Lost Days, or tell me what you think about Red Hood the character himself. Do you think Jason Todd should have stayed dead? Do you think Red Hood's been handled wrong for the past few years, or do you are you like me? Do you like Red Hood and oh, like the majority of stuff he's been through? Although he has had some crappy stories, but yeah. So leave a comment below, like, subscribe, tell me what you think. But yeah, Red Hood: The Lost Days, eight out of ten.